Well guys, it looks like I bought another crawler for the fleet. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. As you can see, I have the new Element Night Runner here on the bench. So we're going to be unboxing this thing and uh, taking a look at it. It's a rig I went back and forth on. Wasn't sure if I was going to get it. Then, I don't know, I finally decided to pull the trigger and pick one up. So I reached out to JJ Customs. So shout out to him for taking care of me on this one. He uh, had one left and I took it and he shipped it out to me super fast. And I got it in just a couple of days. So uh, here it is. And I'm super excited to unbox this thing and uh, give it a really good look. I'm very uh, intrigued by it. It looks very much like a Toyota Tacoma, which is my one-to-one. -one. So it's gonna be pretty cool to have something that looks like my uh, real rig. And then as you know, it's got some of the other Overland type goodies on it. So we're gonna take a look at all that stuff. And uh, I don't know, I'll just give you uh, a look at it and some impressions. And I will do a running video. Obviously at some point right now, I just kind of can't get outside because the smoke is so bad. It is literally off the the uh, index. So I'm not going to go out crawling anytime soon, it seems, but uh, we'll figure something out. But uh, let's unbox this thing. Boom. There it is. Uh, my work area is not quite large enough to slide it out. And it kind of was ridiculous. But I opened the box and this is kind of what was going on. And we have all these uh, accessories, it seems, here. So this looks like some sort of roof rack type deal. The tent's in there. Uh, I'm not sure what these things are. Those are probably mounts. And some other goodies, it seems, to have come with in here. So um, we'll check that out after. This was also taped on the inside here. It looks like some extra body pins and screws. So I'll have to keep an eye on those and the manual and all that stuff is in here. Uh, the sticker sheet. So, you know, I'm not a giant sticker fan, but uh, let's just pop it open. This is my first ready to run element. Uh, my other one I built was a kit. So we'll take a look at the radio. These are some funny stickers. Journey, the elements stalled out. Problem, no problem. Uh, that's a good one there. Front runner. So the rack is um, licensed by Front Runner. They make pretty nice stuff. I personally run a Prinsu on mine. But uh, yeah, I know a lot of people like the sticker sheets. I kind of want to keep this looking pretty real. So I'm not sure I'm going to run a lot of stickers, but uh, we'll have to see about that. But um, let's get this thing off of here. Let's see. How's it secured? Uh, let's get some zip ties. So we're going to need some scissors. And here they are. So let's just cut these zip ties right off. And we'll be able to pull this bad Larry out. And take a look at all the goodness. Uh, one more, one more. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Boom, bang, boom, and there it is. Ooh, yeah. So before we look at the truck, I guess we'll look at the radio, seeing how this is my first element rig. So it's another RTR radio, but honestly, I'm probably not going to keep that around long because I'm just over those. I have my DX5, so I'll be able to use that. comes with a radio. This is the XP130. And yeah, if you need to know how to do all this stuff. It's in there, hitting things with the box. All right, this is a bind plug right here. It comes with, you might need that. Uh, let's just, yeah, actually it's a pretty comfortable radio. Nice foam wheel on it with the chrome thing. Looks even got a little disc brake in there. I like that it has everything you need, uh, endpoint adjustments and all of that. So I guess that's pretty good from the factory. You don't see that often. Got a switch right there for on and off, but yeah, not a bad radio. Uh, I definitely do um, some test videos with the radio. 
All right, so now to the meat and potatoes of what you guys want to see. Look at this thing. This thing looks great. Uh, the proportions are pretty dang good. Wow. I like that the rock sliders here seem to um, have a capture in here to hold the body in place. That's really nice. Wow. Really impressed with how this thing looks. The, it's sitting a little high in the front. If anything, I'd want, I want it pretty leveled. I don't like that Baja look. I know some people like them like this. I want mine to be pretty, uh, you know, even, but there is no battery in it. So maybe when you put a little weight in it, it might come down a little, but that's something I can mess around with. Uh, again, the element shocks are really nice. Wow, it feels so good. Holy smokes, just awesome. Now, let's see the articulation from that IFS. So, uh, not bad, you know, I'm not expecting this thing to be super crazy, but my, you know, plans for it are to just get some really nice scale realism uh, crawling stuff. So here is the IFS. It has this skid that goes up here. It's not super realistic, but it is at the same time because my truck's kind of got a little bit of that going on. If this was angled more towards the front bumper then it would be like i don't know it's hard to explain but uh, maybe one day i can show on my truck but uh yeah front bumper seems to be a little loose that's kind of weird so i'll have to pop the body off and uh see why that is like that uh it looks like they did put some protectors on here for the body pins and shipping i like to see that so it doesn't scratch your rig all up even though it's probably going to get pretty scratched so let's just pull those out. I wish they would have come up with something so you don't have uh, these on there because now I'm going to have holes in the body even if um, I wanted to do something else with it. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. And oh, look at this. They even put another big piece. So that's a nice touch of detail where they realize they don't want it to get scratched and shipping. So that is pretty good that they did something like that. They're thinking about you. All right. Get one more pin out here. Uh, okay, we got it. And let's pull it off. Woo, there we go. So here's the body. It's a two-piecer. It's bolted in nicely right here. So it definitely feels pretty firm. That's, you know, I know the original Sendero was really thin. This feels much better. Uh, maybe not as good as one would want, but, you know, it should hold up a little better. It uh, looks like it's primed for reinforcements, so I might have to go ahead and uh, do some reinforcements on it, but we'll see. So, if you're unfamiliar with the rig here, this is the layout. You've got your Surho up front there. Um, you've got the small battery tray already installed, which is okay, because i got batteries that will fit that. Uh, oh, we've got a Dean's connector. I'm going to have to go ahead and put my own on there. That's a little reedy um esc i've never seen one of those i do like these motors though these are pretty good but i probably will wind up throwing a quick run 1080 in this i don't know if i'm going to go brushless or not but um we'll have to see so the, here are the shocks pretty nice it's even got an exhaust on it that looks like it bolts in on two spots down here and then up here so it should be, stay on there pretty good um, it feels like it could snap maybe though. It's hard to say, but there's your rear solid axle. I really like these axles because they're pretty plain. They don't got a lot going on. They look pretty real. The pumpkin looks okay, minus this little truss, but they need that for strength. So another thing with this is it is a longer wheelbase, what they just did with longer links, which I think is gonna benefit this little truck. So it should crawl uh, a little different than some other rigs I have, which I like going to be a little longer but it's going to have small wheels i've never uh, run any of the trucks here with small wheels um here's another detail i just noticed it has some cool hubcaps and it says erc on there so that feels pretty nice those are pretty cool i like those how do the oh they just twist off so that's cool you know it's a nice little detail of scale there covers up your little wheel nuts so we're gonna have to go ahead and see uh, how big I can go. I have some Super Swamper class 
one tires, I think. So I might try to put those on. We're going to have to see. I know 4.75 tires are going to be way too big on this thing. They're going to look like giant balloons. So I don't want to take away from the scale look, but I'm not sure how these general grabbers will do, but they look really good and the wheels look really good. I, I think they're really good looking. I just don't know how they're going to perform. So uh, obviously we're going to test all that stuff in the running video, but yeah, nothing crazy. Um, does have some lights in the bumper. That's a pretty nice touch. Uh, this rig comes in at $430, so um, not too bad, really, for what you get. It's a sweet little platform. I forget what the IFS kit runs you. Uh, they are offering a clear body now, so if you want to go ahead and uh, pick one of those up and paint one yourself and put an IFS kit on an existing rig, it's going to cost you a decent amount of money. So that's why I went ahead and just bought this because I was thinking about finishing the one I have, but uh, maybe I can use that for a different project uh, in the future. So uh, the bumper being loose, I'm not sure if it's the screws. Uh, those don't look like them, and I don't even know how you get to those. You probably have to take the bumper out out of the support. I really don't like how loose that is. It's just a little thing that's bothering me, but... That is the layout of the truck. Um, looks like it's got some different pivot balls in there from what I remember. Although I built the kit and I had some, so I put um, my own in there. Those ones look like Derlin, Der Derlin, however you say it. Um, I can't say that. You know what I'm trying to say, though. And the sliders, again, look pretty beefy and solid. So nice to see some of the stuff on this thing. Um, just really uh, digging the small wheels. I like how scale it looks. And the IFS is pretty dang good. For looks, anyway. I don't, I don't know about performance, but it's just cool to have it. This is my first IFS, like I said. But that's the truck. That's the layout of the truck. Um, let's look at all the accessories that come with it. Let's just cut this bad Larry right open here and see about all the accessories all right so they give you a snorkel um, i'm pretty sure that that goes over that so you can bolt that all on it did have the dimples in the body already so if you're into that you can put a snorkel on it if you want to do some desert running um, this is extra pivot balls i'm not sure what those are if they're Durlin or what however you say it but it's got some different body mounts oh it's got the other gear for the overdrive in there because this does come with overdrive a bigger battery tray if you want to run that uh looks like it's got the straight axle in there too if you want to put a solid axle on the front so that's nice to give you that and i'm not sure what else is in there but for now i don't need to open this so it's easy just to keep it all in the package. It's got this plastic gear here. I'm assuming some of the gears in the transmission are plastic, whereas the kit I built earlier had all metal gears in there. So that might be a future upgrade, but we'll run plastic for now. Um, here's the tent. Oh, wow, that's cool. Wow, it's almost like rubbery. Wow, however they did this print, this is nice. Holy crap. So it's all hollow, it doesn't weigh too much. It's labeled back front, which that's weird because, hmm. If I was put, yeah, I guess, yeah, the ladder would go this way. That's how I put it on my truck. So that is, wow, that is really cool. It's like a, it almost feels like a rubber texture. I Now I thought this was being 3D printed and I'm not sure how this was even made. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments what exactly this thing's made out of. I mean, it feels like a, almost like a rubber. You got your mounting holes on there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so here's the front runner rack and the mounts, I guess, for said rack. And I'm not sure what these are. Uh, something with the body. So I had to figure out how all of this stuff goes on. And I like that they don't put any of it on for you. They leave it up to you on how you want to kind of decorate your truck, so to speak. But... Uh, yeah, it's cool. I think the value here is pretty good. I mean, they're giving you a nice rig and some options to uh, make it a overland rig or whatever you want to do. Um, like I said, that's part of why I got this was because I just wanted something that was pretty dang scale. That's not a hard body that's going to break, although I don't know. Um, it 
Definitely doesn't have the detail maybe a hard body does, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool once I get it all accessorized, and I think it's gonna look pretty good in the photos. That's kind of what I wanna do is, you know, get some better photos and scale type stuff. But let's just get that body back on there before we sign it out, just so you can get another look. Um, like I said, I do have one of these in the one-to-one, -one, and I would like to say it is pretty dang close. Like, the back all the way up to, like, the hood. I mean, it's slightly off. I feel the hood's a little short. This could have been just a tiny bit bigger, but, you know, I think if you put them... On the hood of a one-to-one, -one, no one would notice if you had a Toyota emblem in it. They would say that it, you know, it's a copy, exactly. So, I'm pretty impressed. I can't wait to get this thing out on the trails and uh, see how it performs. It's going to be interesting. Like I said, I've never had a small tire truck. So, I don't know. Can't wait to get it out. That's all I can say, I guess. But let me know what you guys think of this rig down in the comments below. Are you going to be picking one up? Uh, thoughts, comments, whatever... You want to say let me know i guess that's going to be it for this video nothing crazy i just kind of wanted to get it out of the box share it with you guys and uh, let you know my initial impressions on it and uh, get a good look at it um, these are starting to hit i'm sure you'll be able to get one i did see limited quantities listed so look around check your local hobby shops and uh yeah if you want one i'm sure you'll be able to get one but really appreciate you guys watching and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.